Okay, let's go over uh, the right answers to this one problem that actually involves three questions, actually. Let's move it over on the board. All right. So this was on the uh, finding the limiting reagent. It's one question. And we've got a balanced equation. I'll write this up on the board. The balanced equation was 3Fe plus 2O2 forms. Fe two. Oops, that should be Fe three O four. A mistake, but that's okay. All right. So, so what we got from here is according to the question, it says that which one's the limiting reagent if you have eight point five four moles of Fe, eight point five four moles of this guy, and we got ten point five moles of O two. 10.5 moles of this guy. And we want to know which one's the limiting reagent. All right. So what we have to do on this one is we have to make one of them X. And in making one of them X, then we're going to solve for that and make a little comparison. And that's the part of this whole idea of limiting reagents is it's an interpretation of what we've been doing so far. So let's do first of all, let's make O2X. So I'm going to make that green. All right. So it's a little different color. So we're ignoring right now, we're ignoring the 10.5. We're just assuming it's just like way back when, at the very beginning of this chapter, we're doing a mole to mole, trying to find whatever, if I use all these moles, how many moles of O2 do I need? So in doing that, I gotta do three moles of Fe to two moles of O2. And then we've got 8.54 moles of Fe and we're trying to find out my new green X, X moles of O2. So from there, if you cross multiply, you get three times X equals two times 8.54. Divide by three on both sides. And X ends up equaling uh, 5.69. And that's moles of O2. So what does this mean? What does it mean? It means if I use all 8.54 moles of this guy, then I need 5.69 moles of O2. Do you have that? Do you have that much? Yeah, we got 10.5 of it. So what does that tell me? It tells me that the Fe is going to be the one that's going to run out first. All right. So that means that that's what's going to run out first. And this one right here, that is my limiting reagent. All right. I'm going to circle that because once we circle that, once we know that that's our limiting reagent, then that means all other questions, we have to do the calculations using this guy. All right. That's what that indicates. Now let's look at just in case you did it the other way. Let's say you chose this one and you wanted to find out how many moles of this guy you needed. So you wouldn't have to have this problem, but you might. So now we're looking at if that one was X instead. So if we do that, then what ends up happening is this part changes. The first part hasn't changed. It's still three moles of this. So it's two moles of that. But now we've got 10.5 moles of O2, and we're going to find out X moles of Fe that that's going to use. So cross multiply, 2 times X equals 3 times 10.5, divide by 2, divide by 2, and X ends up equaling 15.75, and that's moles of Fe. So now again, what does this mean? It's saying, well, if I use all 10.5 moles of this guy, then what I need is I need 15.75 moles of Fe. Do you have 15.75? No, we only got 8.54. So what does that tell me? It still tells me Fe is my limiting reagent. So either way, it gave me the right answer, right? It gave me which one was the limiting reagent. So that's the first part. Second one says excess reagent. How much of this guy over here, this is gonna be my excess one, no, I shouldn't erase that last question. In order to do that one, then we need to have that relationship that we had last time, which was the 8.54 moles of this guy over X moles of O2. And if you remember when we solved this, we ended up it was going to use 5.69 moles of O2. So that figure X says, well, I'm going to use 5.69 but I have 10.5. So all I gotta do is take the 10.5, subtract 
oops, do the right number, well, 5.69. So I'm going to subtract those two. When I subtract that, I end up with 4.81 moles of O2 left over. So that is my second answer. All right. And again, what it's saying is exactly what the phrase says there. That's how much is going to be left over when it's all done. All right. I'm going to have some extra left. All right. So then the last part of this question says, how much of the product can be formed? All right. So we got to get rid of all this. Now we're trying to find out is we're going to try and find out X moles of this guy, our product. So which one decides how much product can be formed? My limiting reagent, this guy. So we got to go three moles of Fe will give me one mole of Fe3O4. So then we go, well, I'm going to, I have 8.54 moles of Fe. And we're going to try and find out X moles of Fe3O4. So cross multiply and solve, 3 times x equals 1 times 8.54, divide by 3 on both sides, and x ends up equaling 2.85, and that's moles of the Fe, it should be 3, 04 instead of 2. So we know that that was this, so that is how much of my product can be formed. Okay. So those are the answers to that question. All right. So have a good day, we'll see you.